Hi, I'm Mike from DetectAlarms.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you our best-selling solar-powered wireless infrared beams. These can be used for intruder alarms or uh, driveway alarms or anything like that. What you get, these are 100 meter beams. So these can be set 100 meters apart from each other and anything that goes through those beams uh, will trigger them and send a wireless signal back to your alarm panel. They work on 433 megahertz these ones. So these work up to 100 meters apart. On the front you have quite a large solar panel there which keeps the internal rechargeable battery charged up. They don't need to be in full sun but you don't want to place these, position these under a bush or in very large shaded areas. They need daylight, just basic daylight will keep them charged up uh, quite well and keep the battery charged up. Full sun would be better. Now what you receive in the kit is a pair of beams. These can be wall mounted or mounted on a post. You receive some stainless steel saddles so they can be mounted to a post if required but if that is mounted to a post that post needs to be fixed very well in the ground possibly concreted in that's what you don't want these beams have to line up with each other to work properly and you don't want the post tipping and the beams becoming out of line so usually fixing to a, a wall or a wooden post would be better now you normally set these up to work on an alarm panel in a kitchen so you put the alarm panel kitchen or something like that you put the alarm panel into learning mode trigger these so that they uh, are learnt on the uh, alarm panel just show you how to take them apart on the bottom of each of these detectors is a small screw now another reason for setting these up in a kitchen or something like that is that small screw can be lost quite easy you just pull the cover tip it up like that tip out the screw and there is a little screw and I say that can be lost in the grass very easily so be careful with that in the back of the cover you have the two contacts there from the solar panel which connect to two little spring loaded contacts there, positive and negative, these keep the uh, solar panel charged, uh, the solar panel charging the uh, battery which is there. There's also a tamper switch, a little spring switch there, if the cover was removed that tamper switch would operate and the alarm would go off. I'll just remove that cover, I'll take the cover off this one undo the screw, pull the cover upwards and forwards and again don't lose that little screw. What you have here is the transmitter and the receiver and these are the beams that point to each other, line up with each other and once they're broken, the uh, the alarm will be will go off. Now, these are totally adjustable. They want to be pointing at each other, obviously, but if the post or wall isn't quite upright or in line with the other beam, you can twist these to line up with each other. Both of them twist. The beams twist side by side, side to side and also there is an adjustment there which can be screwed in or screwed out and that's the vertical axis so it's it's tips up or tips back to line up. If you look here on both the transmitter and the receiver there's a little bit of plastic there with two large holes pointing forwards and two small holes one either side when these are fixed up onto the wall facing each other if you put your eye right down close to either the left 
or the right hand side hole, whichever is easier, on both of these, you will see through the big holes an image. And that image is of the beam opposite you. So you can adjust slightly left or right, up or down, until you get the image of the other beam opposite through that little window. Uh, it's quite a useful device for uh, lining up. Once they're lined up, they will beep at you to tell you they've been lined up. When you receive them, they'll have the rechargeable batteries inside with a little bit of plastic just covering the end of the battery to keep it from working during transit, running out during transit shipping. If you just pull that plastic out, you will hear the beam beeping at you. And also you have an LED light in there which shows up when it's, uh, it's actually activated or lined up. That is the beam beeping at you to say it's uh, not connected. So you connect those up 100 metres apart, up to 100 metres apart across your driveway. And uh, once the beam is broken, it will send a wireless signal back. Now I'll just show you how to connect them to a wall. Or you have a back plate. There's another small screw there. I'll just take that screw out. Another little screw there. Again, be careful not to lose that. And then the back plate slides down and unclips from the detector. So that plate now can be fixed with the screws. You get a pack of screws, screws provided. That can be connected uh, to a wall or a post. And then all you do is you clip on your detector is beeping at me now because it's not lined up. You connect that back on and place your screw back in there and tighten that back up. And that's basically all you do with them really. Um, quick introduction to them. You've got a rubber gasket around the front there keep the rain off. You just slide the top on, back in like that and pop your screw back in there and away you go. Great, thank you very much for looking at the video.